Time once again for Park City Television's Drink of the Week. As always, I am joined by Jimmy Santangelo, a.k.a. the virtual sommelier from the Wine Academy of Utah. Jimmy, thanks so much for coming in. My pleasure, Ari. It is uh, the holiday season, and a lot of folks are you know, going off to holiday parties or they want to bring uh, you know, a, a different sort of gift to people, especially to food lovers, drink lovers, and the people who have everything, and you've got some great suggestions for us. No, absolutely. You know, over the holidays, uh, it's a matter of uh, what do I get that person who has everything, mm -hmm. and we're going to talk about some gift baskets today. Whether you have a gift basket that you're going to put together on your own or maybe a pre-purchased one, I've got two to demonstrate here for you today. Okay, well, let's start with this big one uh, right here in front of me. First off, uh, tell me where you got all these great items. Yeah, this is um, from a retailer that uh, ships direct, uh, Menaceretti, out of San Francisco. Fine artisanal Italian products. And locally here, Trio Cafe Restaurant over at their Cottonwood location has these already put together for you. Mm -hmm. So it's a premium basket of absolute artisanal high-end products from the, the linguine um, <laughs> all the way down to the honeys that we were looking at, the jams, the jellies, the balsamics. It's really, you know, if uh, you need to make a good impression on uh, the in-laws or maybe the boss, it's a great way to go. And uh, I like adding uh, a wine to a pre-purchased gift basket to give it that additional personal touch, and we're featuring the Vietti uh, Italian Red Nebbiolo Grape Varietal. And uh, what is it about this wine that uh, you think makes such a great uh, holiday gift? Really um, drawing in on that Italian flavor, uh, this particular producer, the Vietti uh, Winery, really just uh, the grape speaks for itself from that area. <laughs> Okay, and uh, some of the items, let's talk about some of the things that are in here. As you said, uh, fresh linguine, uh, we've got uh, you know, an acacia honey that just looks so clean and clear and, uh, and, and just beautifully delicious, uh, as well as you know, things that just seem a little simple like salt. Yeah, the sea salt in there, it's a fine granular. Typically, sea salt comes in a little wider of a grain. Um, this is pounded down again, and uh, you just need a little bit because it goes a long way. Okay, well, let's talk about uh, a basket that maybe somebody might want to make up themselves. You know, people think about the holidays. They always think about some sweets, but if you want to get away from uh, candy canes and uh, maybe sugar plums, <laughs> go to just some uh, go to some chocolate instead. That's right. I'm a, I'm a big chocolate fan, but I think uh, chocolate, and we're featuring some port here, making our own gift basket. You can uh, buy a, a basket. Uh, this is a great basket. It lays down a bottle of wine in it, and in this case, it's port. Uh, you can buy that at a arts and crafts shop, wherever you might be. And then we're featuring three very artisanal chocolates for us. Mm -hmm. Because uh, chocolate and port uh, go together like uh, peanut butter and chocolate. That's, <laughs> right. <laughs> That's right. You know, the, the flavors really combine. In these particular chocolates that we have, the first one is a London chocolatier, artisanal and company. And this is their fusion bar. And they're really uh, blending in Venezuelan and Mexican chocolate, the cocoa bean uh, uh, spice and herbs and flowers, very aromatic, more of a fruity oriented style of chocolate. Mm -hmm. And then uh, on uh, the other end of the spectrum? Yeah, the, the middle one we have is a meat, uh, Amade out of Tuscany, Italy. And this one's going to be a little more plummy, a little richer. And then we move to Amano. Now, we've spoken all over the world. Amano is out of... Orem, Utah. That's right. They're making some amazing chocolates out of there. This is the biggest, richest one. And we've got a little nibble nib here for you. Oh, can't, can't, uh, can't pass that up. <laughs> mm. You know, if you've never had true dark chocolate, you gotta try this. I mean, it, yeah. you, you really taste the, the fruity flavors and uh, all, all kinds of different notes. This is not your Hershey bar. No, not at all. I mean, you can tell through the coloring of the chocolate, uh, even on the nose, a little darker, richer style, aromatically on the palate, really focused. Um, really red blackberry kind of thing going on, even balsamic-like in a very reduced way, mm -hmm. and I think it'll draw the wine out nice. And talk about uh, the port you've chosen here. port we've chosen is a, uh, a tawny port. It's a Graham's vintage, and you know, it's just really nice. It's gonna go along uh, well with a variety of after dinner desserts, particularly this chocolate basket. All right, fantastic. Jimmy, uh, if people want more information on uh, you, how they can get in touch with you, where do they go? I'm uh, at uh, the Wine Academy of Utah.com, or you can telephone me at 801-486-WINE, W-I-N-E. Jimmy, happy holidays. Thanks, you too. Drink of the Week is brought to you by Butchers and by these fine sponsors.